All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So we have a ton of JP news to cover today. In fact, there's so much news that I have to break it up into two separate videos because one video would just be too damn long. So we're going to start with the info for the transforming go tanks and transforming boo first. And then in the next video, I'm going to be covering the token awakenings for the AGL fit boo, the int kit go 10, and also the uh, tech kid trunks and spoilers. That fit boo is absolutely insane, man. I don't know what Bandai was thinking, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Let's start with the boo, or sorry, the go tanks and the boo first. And as you can see, we have the info here, but of course I can't read Japanese. So we're gonna uh, rely on Goresh's translations in a second. But first things first, let's actually take a look at these super attack animations. And uh, they're really, really clean. They're really, really nice. So we're gonna start with the go tanks first. And uh, let's turn up the volume a little bit. And here we go. Enjoy, guys. So we got the base Gotenks here, of course. He starts off as base Gotenks and then transforms to Super Saiyan Gotenks. And then finally into Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. This is the super attack for the base Gotenks. And then here's the transformation. Yo, this looks so good, man. <laughs> it looks really, really freaking good. And then we have the super attack here for the Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Yo, I love it, man. I love it. It's so, it's so clean. It's so clean. Like all of these animations recently um, have been really, really good. Like look at the Nappa and Vegeta. Look at the even like the Dual Doka Fest between the Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku and also the Majin Vegeta. Um, just everything. The Beerus is really nice. So I gotta commend Bandai for sure. Akatsuki for sure, for uh, the quality of the animations. Yeah, I, I like this guy a lot. You know, I wasn't super hyped about both of these units before I saw these animations, but I knew, I knew that when I saw the animations, my mind would probably be changed. So I gotta say, I am definitely hyped for these units now. Although, um, when we get to their details, there is a... I would say major flaw that kind of makes them a little bit underwhelming. I mean, I wouldn't say underwhelming, just I was a little bit disappointed when I saw it. We'll get to that in a second though. Like I said, let's focus on the task at hand, which is the animations. That that was the go tanks you guys saw. Really, really clean. Let's talk about or take a look at the boo now. I don't know if you can tell. I'm very, very excited, but also like super tired, super sleep deprived. So I'm talking really fast. My mind is like not working properly. I apologize if I'm a little bit weird in this video. Okay, okay, so here's the boo. Enjoy. All right, so um, there is the, I guess, base boo and uh, evil boo. That's what they start off as. And then they go into just evil boo. So here, I guess this is the transformation. And then, of course, after, they'll become a Super Boo. So here is the Evil Boo. Yo, I love the whole thing he, do he does with, like, 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 turning his head back and then, like, flying backwards. It's super creepy. It's awesome. <laughs> that looks so good, man. That's so clean. <laughs> okay, and now here's the final transformation into the Super Boo. Turns uh, him into chocolate, eats him, becomes Super Boo. Yo, you know that close-up of his face is gonna become a meme. Like, Meme Friday on um, on the Dokkan subreddit is gonna be filled with that evil boo face, that close-up you just saw. Oh my god. Dude, you know, I didn't think I would get that hyped for a boo unit, but this dude's hype. This guy is really really good i mean just aesthetically looks really good too okay so there are the animations let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them which one you like better uh of the two i think i still prefer go tanks because mainly because i like go tanks more as a character but uh i mean this boo is is very very good too like the animations are top tier top tier no doubt okay so now now let's move on to the dokkan subreddit where we have the information for both units courtesy of of course the homie Goresh. huge shout out as always we appreciate you as always and we're gonna start here with the boo first so 
Uh, they start off as Majin Buu good slash Majin Buu pure evil, separation of good and evil. Leader skill, Majin power, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Of course, that would mean it's a, I mean, of course, that's a new category. And I would assume that it's like anybody that, um, I mean, all the Boos and maybe like Majin Vegeta as well. Um, uh, who else? Debora. Um, I haven't seen the full category, so I can't say for sure, but you know, you kind of, you can kind of guess who the characters are in that category based on the name of the category, right? And uh, also artificial life forms, category key plus three, HP attack plus 170% and defense plus 130%. Now, um, we did not have a 170% leader for this category before. The only other leader was the LR Baby, who was, of course, is 130%. So we finally have a Dokkan Fest leader for the Artificial Life Forms category, which is awesome. And uh, LR Baby is about to go crazy. I mean, LR Baby, highly, highly underrated in my opinion. And uh, I'm glad he's finally getting a 170% category. Actually, did he have a 170% category? I don't remember. Uh oh, uh movie no, no, not movie. Um yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he had a hundred and seventy percent leader before. Anyways, uh LR Baby is gonna be great on this category, on this team. Can't wait for that. Uh super attack is Kamehameha, greatly raises uh, raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And the passive is key plus one, attack plus one hundred percent, reduces damage received by forty percent. Really great damage reduction, damage reduction right there. Exchange with Majin Buu Pure Evil when conditions are met. So the exchange conditions are exchange with Majin Buu Pure Evil starting from the third turn from start of battle, which is really good. Um, of course, really easy to meet. All you gotta do is reach the third turn of the fight and you can exchange. And this is not a um, active skill, so you don't really have a choice. It's gonna exchange whether you like it or not, but I mean, why not? Because the exchanged form is a lot better, right? So links are Majin, Innocence, uh, Kamehameha, Infinite Regeneration, Revival, The Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. And the categories are Majin Power, Majin Buu Saga, Resurrected Warriors, uh, Transformation Boost, Time Travelers, Artificial Life Forms, and Kamehameha. So once he exchanges into Evil Buu, the super attack is Guilty Flash, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage and seals super attack. Passive, key plus two, uh, attack plus 150%, reduces damage received by 40% and high chance to stun the attacked enemy, medium chance to evade enemy attacks. So uh, a lot of good stuff here, man. You seal super attack, you have a high chance to stun, which I assume is 50%. Medium chance to evade enemy attacks, about 30%. Damage received by 40% still, and also 150% attack, which is a really high boost, in addition to being a key sufficient, self-sufficient for key as well. So you're almost guaranteed to get that um, super attack off every single turn. And conditions. Now, for the active skill, this was the thing that I was like, kind of disappointed by, because in order to reach his final transformation, the... Um, you know, super boo transformation, you got to be above 70% HP and also four turns have to pass after you initially exchange into evil boo, which means that a total of seven turns need to pass between uh, the start of the battle and you reaching the final transformation for this unit. So seven turns, three turns first of the first transformation, and then four more turns for the second transformation. So that is kind of rough, man. That's kind of rough. Seven turns is a lot of turns when you're thinking about most events. Obviously, you know, you'll be able to reach it for like the Legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball history. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. For most events out there, um, for the most part, like seven turns is basically the end of the fight right or like maybe with the exception of a few dokkan events that are a little bit longer you might get there but um you're not going to be seeing this transformation a ton uh, i'll say that for sure on most dokkan events and uh maybe even super battle road you might see it like a couple times like here and there but it's going to be tough to get his final transformation just because of how many turns it takes to uh, activate this um, active skill i mean this is at least my understanding of what i see here i can't Maybe I misinterpreted it and it means like on the fourth turn as opposed to four more turns. But it says, like, it says very clearly above 70% or above HP, 
and once four turns have passed after exchanging. So my interp interpretation is seven turns total from the base form, right? From the good boo and evil boo form. So yeah, not a big fan of that, guys. Um, that's just too many turns in my opinion. But um, once he transforms, he is really good, right? I mean, as you can see, Super Boo here, um, Ill Flash, a super attack, greatly raises attack and defense for three turns and causes immense damage and seal super attack. Passive is key plus three, attack plus 220% and reduces damage received by 50% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 12% per rainbow key sphere obtained. And the links, uh, the only link that changes is that Berserker becomes metamorphosis. So a uh, huge, huge boost, huge damage reduction, um, a lot of crit chance for every key uh rainbow key uh, obtained greatly raising attack and defense for three turns um and sealing super attack so you know super boot is awesome it's just you're not gonna see him that much you'll see him on legendary goku event you'll see him on infinite dragon ball history but you know any other event it's gonna be pretty rare uh for you to get to that final form so that makes me kind of sad i wish it wasn't so restrictive i wish it wasn't so many turns but um I mean, it is what it is, right? What can you do about that? So let me know in the comments once again what you guys think about that. Are you as disappointed as I am um, about the huge turn restriction? Or do you think it's fair because the final form is so so strong, right? I mean, this this is insane. Like 220% attack, 50% damage reduction, 12% crit chance per rainbow key sphere. Also greatly raising attack and defense for three turns, ceiling super attack. Uh, he's amazing. He is, he is amazing. It's just gonna be hard to get there right now let's move on to the go tanks this video is already getting super long i apologize uh go tanks leader skill special pose category he plus four hp attack and defense plus 170 percent which is um it's it's funny i mean it's basically i guess units or characters that have like signature poses or something like that um once again i haven't seen the category so i can't say for sure but um i'm gonna guess that neither of like this category or the margin category are like insane because they wouldn't give such a huge boost if the category was like broken right um or youth category key plus three hp and attack plus 170 percent defense plus 130 percent super attack victory flash greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage and his passive is key, is key plus one attack and defense plus 100 percent transformal conditions are met so obviously not that impressive but not terrible and he exchanges after the third turn from start of battle um we're not exchange sorry i transform this is exchange here but i think that's a you know a bit of a typo uh transform starting from the third turn from start of battle links our signature pose same warrior race same lineage same lineage uh innocence fierce fighter supreme power and fierce battle and categories there are so many categories guys uh special pose youth fusions hybrid saiyans majibu saga super saiyans super saiyan 3 last resort and transformation boost and super saiyan go tanks will greatly raise defense for one turn and cause immense damage to the enemy with a great chance to stun for his super attack. Passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 100%, chance, high chance of additional attack plus 50%, with a high chance of additional 50%. So essentially, um, these are separate, and each of them, I guess, is a 50% chance of activating. So you know in theory you could get up to 200 percent attack and also high chance of additional 50 percent with a high chance of additional 50 percent uh de oh sorry did i say did i just say 50 percent so 50 percent defense and then also high chance of additional 50 percent defense with a medium chance to perform an additional super attack so this is a little bit confusing i think but basically um these are all separate right so each of them has a 50 percent chance to activate so on some turns it might just be attack and defense plus 100 percent uh, some turns it might be 150 percent attack and 100 percent defense or 150 percent attack and defense or sometimes it's going to be 200 percent attack and defense or maybe 200 percent attack 100 percent defense or you know so on and so forth you guys get the point right like each of these are uh separate so they all have a separate chance to activate and also and then a medium chance to perform an additional super attack so if this guy is like super rng based he could be super super strong and also quite tanky if you get 200 percent attack and defense or he can just be like man you know kind of okay if like none of these activate right if none of these activate he only gets key plus two and attack and defense plus 100 percent, which is going to be kind of underwhelming on that turn um but once again if you get all of these to activate then you're looking at 
um, what, 200% attack and defense, key plus two, and also a additional super attack too. So um, he's going to be interesting. He's going to be kind of fun, I think, just because he's so variable, but um, interesting mechanic. Interesting mechanic. Okay, so uh, his transformation into Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks is going to be similar to the Boo. Um, Boo's final transformation, where you have to be above 70% HP and also four turns have passed after your first transformation. So a total of seven turns, once again, to reach Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Not a big fan, man. Not a big fan. Okay. Um, and also, so, okay, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, Super Attack is Brain Crash Hammer, greatly raises attack and defense for 3 turns and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, gain an additional attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, so that's 200% attack right there. Key plus 3, and great chance to launch an additional super attack for 4 turns from first appearance. So... Uh, obviously less RNG based than his previous form and uh, you know a ton of attack um, and also a really good chance to perform two super attacks every single turn for the first four turns. Um, overall both of these units are amazing. They're both really really good with the exception of that final transformation um, restriction. I just I, I think seven turns is way too long man. I think seven turns it's way too long. That's just my opinion. Once again, if you guys have a different opinion, make sure to let me know in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear about them. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. That's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Uh, new categories are both these guys, the Majin Power category, as well as the Signature Pose category. Um, and amazing, amazing super attacks. Don't get me wrong, all right? I think that these guys both have top, top tier super attack animations. I think that they have great passives, great leader skills, great super attacks and everything. But I just think seven turns is a lot, man. I just think seven turns is a lot. Maybe I'm being crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's the video though. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna end off on this Boo animation compilation. Enjoy. And as always, uh, if you guys like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.